Okay, now shall we start with our regular story time? I'm very excited to be together with you guys today, and I always start with the Hello, Hello song. Hello, hello to you and you and you. Hello, hello to you and you and you. A big hello, a small hello, a high hello, a low hello. Hello, hello to you and you and you. Hello, hello to you and you and you. And if I remember, we will finish with the goodbye song, which is the same thing to close our story time. We've got a lot of fun things planned to get today. I'm going to do a flannel board after we do a little warming up. I bet you remember flannel boards. So now we're going to do the good morning song. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, and how do you do? How do you do today? I'm doing very well because I love to do story times with you guys. I hope that you'll sing along with me today because it's so much fun to sing, isn't it? It makes my whole day. So now I think we'll do the more we get together. I didn't remember to bring my ukulele today, but I will next time, I promise. So we'll do it together. I don't know all the hand motions that you do with it, so I'm going to try and I may very well get them wrong. But maybe you can do them correctly where you're sitting. Are you ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. So then we'll do the more we sing together, and I think sing is this. So the more we sing together, 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 the more we sing together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we sing together, the happier we'll be. And then we do play together, and I think this is play. I could be wrong. So, the more we play together, 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 the more we play together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we play together, the happier we'll be. And friend might be this. I'm pretty sure, but I didn't want to do it through the whole thing because I have to look it up. So I'm very happy to be together with you today. My name is Cindy and I am one of the children's librarians at Portland Public Library in Portland, Maine. And today we are doing the word of the week, which is collide. And we just had a huge collision. We collided our fire trucks as I was playing with them. I'll show you. The word is collide and it means to crash together with violent impact. Um, and now we're going to work out our wiggles so that we can do some other fun things. So put your hands out in front of you, stretch them all the way out, see how my arms are out? Like that. And then wiggle your fingers. I'm gonna wiggle them right up to the camera. And then shake your hands. You can go around in circles both ways to stretch out your wrists. You can also go like this. All kinds of good stretching. Wiggle your arms wiggle your shoulders you can roll them around it feels so good 
do your neck like this in a big circle one way and then the other. Stomp your feet and really go crazy. And then we'll take a big, deep breath in. And then let it out. That was really nice. I think my wiggles are worked out. Are yours? Are you ready to do a flannel board? Do you remember these? Look at this. So get ready. We're going to do five little ducks. So maybe you'll count with me. One, two, three, four, and five. So, five little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 <gasps> but only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, quack, quack. <gasps> Uh-oh. But only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, quack, quack. But only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, quack, quack. Uh-oh. But only one little duck came back. One little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, quack, quack. But no little ducks came waddling back. Uh-oh. No little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, quack, quack. And guess what happened? Count with me. One, two, three, Four, five little ducks came waddling back. Yay! I'm so glad they all came back. I was getting a little worried, were you? Okay, and then we will have a storybook. And I thought it might be fun to do a main ABC. I'm gonna get closer to you. It's a main ABC by Susan Ramsey. Hogwit. It's got great illustrations. See, there are fish and a bear and a chickadee. I bet you see chickadees every day. I see them all the time on my bird feeder. And it says, for Abigail, Susanna, Ashley, Peter, and Courtney would love. Look at that pretty illustration. Do you remember Monty Mon Montgomery, our moose, who lives right up by our desk in the library? So it says, A is for alewives in Damariscotta Mills. B is for a bear in the Camden Hills. C is for a chickadee on the branch of a pine. D is a dory hauled up with a line. E is an eagle alone in flight. F is for fiddleheads curled up tight. Have you seen those little new ferns in the spring? G is for gulls, the fisherman's bane. Who likes seagulls? I like seagulls. H is for halibut, 
in the Gulf of Maine. See the fish there? Both their eyes are on top of their head. It's interesting. I is for islands, some big, some small. J is a jack in the pulpit, 12 inches tall. Have you ever found jack in the pulpit flowers in the forest or the swamp? K is for Katahdin with snow at the top. Katahdin is our biggest and most beautiful mountain in Maine. L is for lobster escaping the pot. I love lobsters. M is for moose in a Greenville bog. Do you think this moose might be related to Montgomery? N is for Newt out from under a log. O is an osprey nest of twigs on a tree. P is for puffins living on land and sea. Puffins are so cute, aren't they? Q is for quahog whose bottoms like its top R is for rabbit, who moves with a hop. S is for seal, quite slippery when wet. T is for trout in a lake near Lubeck. U is for an urchin shell washed up in a gale. I love to find sea urchin shells. V is for vole, a mouse with a short tail and they're tiny, like this big. W is for a whale in Frenchman's Bay. Have you ever seen a whale? I went on a whale cruise a couple of years ago and I saw all kinds of them. X is a crossing sign, a warning each way. Y is for y'all whose masts stand tall. I didn't know that was the name of that ship. Then, what do you see? Z, a zillion snowflakes for the letter Z. Very nice. I think we're going to have some snowflakes soon. All right, so let's do Skinnamarink before our next storybook. So are you ready? Do you know this? And will you sing along with me? These are the hand motions. You go like this, then like this. This is how we start. So I'm gonna do it twice so that you can do it along with me the second time. Skin a rink a dink a dink, skin a rink a do. I love you. Skin a rink a dink a dink, skin a rink a do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. Whoops, I did it backwards. I love you. No, this is right. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skin a rink a dink a dink, skin a rink a do. I love you. It's a good thing we're doing it twice because I got it wrong. So, skin a rink a dink a dink, skin a rink a do. I love you. Skin a rink a dink a dink, skin a rink a do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skin a rink a dink a dink, skin a rink a do. I love you. I really mean it. I love you. Oh, yeah. Good job. I bet you did a really good job singing that. Okay, and then we're going to do if you happy, if you're happy and you know it, and then we'll do our final storybook. So are you going to do all the motions with me and stuff? So if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. 
If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! Good job! And now for our final book, which is called Higher, Higher by Leslie Patricelli. <clears throat> Look at that, the beautiful clouds. And the little girl on her dad's shoulders it says, higher, higher, swing. Higher, higher. Higher, higher. Wow, she's going up as high as a giraffe. Higher, higher. That's pretty high. She's above the buildings. Higher, higher. Wow, mountaintops. Higher, higher. Let's wave to the airplane. Higher, higher. Goodbye, rocket. There's the earth down below. Higher, higher. Oh, look, let's say hi to the monkey in the rocket. Hi, hi. Oh, look at that. It must be an alien kid. Swinging. High five. Let's do high five. Bye, bye. There they go, back down to their respective planets. And there she is swinging with all of those different things. And there is the rocket still. Look at that. Wow. Oh, look at this. I just noticed the little kid with the balloon on top of the mountain. And there she is being pushed by her dad on the swing. You can use your imagination for so many things, can't you? It's so much fun. And then she says, again. And now they're going back home. And with that, it is time to conclude our story time. And I'll tell you again that my name is Cindy. I am one of the children's librarians at Portland Public Library in Portland, Maine, and I was so happy to spend this story time with you. Thanks so much for coming by, friends. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.